So if you have a car that shakes when you're idling, I thought I'd go over some of the causes of this and how you might be able to go about fixing it. And so the first thing to do when this happens to you is go examine your motor mounts and your transmission mount because it's very common that your engine will shake when these go bad. It can vary a little bit on how the motor mounts are laid out. There's usually one on each side of the engine and the one on the transmission. If you have a rear wheel drive vehicle, then the transmission might be two or three feet behind the engine. But the first thing to go and do is to examine the motor mount and the transmission mount because this is what bolts the engine and the transmission to the frame of the car and when one of these go bad it can cause the engine to shake and so if you check out the mounts and those look good then the next thing that can cause this is that the engine just not running right it's having some kind of malfunction and so the next thing to do is to check the engine for anything that might be going on especially if you have an engine light on there might not be an engine light but if there is an engine light then that can actually help you find out what the problem is because if you use an obd2 scan tool and you plug it in you can read the error codes that's on the engine and it'll point you to what the problem is and this is really easy to do every vehicle built after 1996 has what is called an obd2 port up and underneath the dashboard and you basically just plug in a scan tool and just read what the codes are and it'll point you to what the problem is there's low-cost obd2 scan tools some for like 20 30 dollars i'll put a link down below if you need one you can also go to automotive stores they'll usually do scans for free they'll come out and read the codes and tell you what they are and so for example right here this is saying p0101 and it's a mass or volume airflow sensor and if you got that error code then you would know there's something going on with the MAF sensor which is located right near the air intake box and usually when these have an issue they're just dirty and need to be cleaned up but basically you would know what the problem is that you need to go check out the math sensor sometimes it can't still be shaken and you don't have no engine codes and so some things to check if you don't have no engine codes would be like the throttle body you want to go check that out quite commonly these get dirty and they throw the engine off they just basically need to be cleaned up this is fairly common especially on like toyotas and things like this so go examine your throttle body and see how dirty it is if it's really dirty then it might just need to be cleaned up and if it is dirty you just get some throttle body cleaner and you spray it in there and you clean it up real good another thing that can sometimes cause a problem but not give you no codes would be low fuel pressure and you could check this with the fuel pressure gauge you could get low cost fuel pressure gauges or you can even get loaners at auto parts stores you basically connect it to the fuel rail on the engine and it'll tell you what the fuel pressure is and so for example if your fuel pressure is rated for 50 but you're getting like 30 psi then you know there's an issue and you can go check out the fuel pump the fuel filter fuel pressure regulator things like this but you would know there's a problem. So that's another thing that can cause an issue. And so other things can also cause this problem, like bad coil packs, spark plug wires, spark plugs, an engine misfire, a vacuum leak, the timing's off, or things like this. Usually if those things are happening though, you'll get a code. So for example, if you have a bad MAF sensor, you're gonna get something like a P0101 or a P0102. The same is true for like a bad coil pack or any engine misfire, you're gonna get a code for it. And so if possible, definitely do a scan of the onboard computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to do an overview of how you can go about finding out what the cause is. If you have a car that shakes at idle, but it smooths out when you're driving. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.